here on this plane, and I don't quite care. We're gonna like crack the throttle. Um, hold the brakes. Turn the battery on. We'll worry about that later. Pull the choke out. Eggs. Choke in. That looks pretty good. Yeah, dude. No, I've I've gotten back into it lately. I hadn't done it for a while. And had a kind of a very rusty session of real life flying and was like, I need to get back to simulating. I'm gonna turn our avionics on. This is still set. That looks great. There's nothing to adjust here. We'll turn our landing and strobes on. I love this. We're already at the end of the runway because I started here, so you know, like, we can just play with that. I want to, I'm going to install the Reno Air Races thing here this week and start doing that because that looked kind of fun and I want to continue to support them. Let's, uh, let's do a run up. Check our... That looks great. Pull the stick back while we're testing things. This is so good. This, just being able to do this and have it be real. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I've been, uh, I actually got a new job recently. I'm working from home now, so that's been pretty nice. Uh, I can't beat that commute. Let me tell you. But it's just kind of nice to be back to it. All right, we're going to take it up to there. That's not the right one to check, but that's okay. I don't care. That looks good. Let's get this bird in the air. What's up, man? So this this should be pretty, pretty lifelike now that I've got my rudder pedals plugged in because I didn't earlier, and that was pretty stupid. Get a bite. Get it off the ground. God, that is so real. <laughs> These movements are so good. Like, this is great. Hey, what's up? Just doing this in VR now, and it is... It is freaking great. Oh, man. It's so good. And it's running a lot better than it usually does, so they've improved that a bit. Let's gain altitude. We're gonna come about. Actually, people up in the air today. That feels so real. Oh my. I love it. <laughs> oh no. Is it you think it's the cable or the the whole darn headset cuz that man that that's a bummer if it's the whole headset. Dude, that's terrible. Right, I'm gonna level off here. I'm pulling it back to about here. Let's see what we need to do. I'm just gonna dead stick it. The only problem with VR is not having physical devices. You kind of have to fiddle with it a bit to get trim 
trim done properly. That should be pretty good. Hey now, hey now, hey now. Did we just lose our controls? That was interesting. The, uh, I do find the controls seem to fight each other a little bit. I think there's some glitchiness with the way they switch. Yeah. It's the only... The only beef I have with this, maybe. Should have checked that turn before I did the turn. These are things I would get yelled at for in real life. Man, this looks in this is working good. But I should just be able to It's it's good to see that even in VR the, the trim is freaking fiddly as all get out. really really warms the heart it's okay trim's just there to make our lives easier right <laughs> it's pretty darn close though I would say other than the trim and that's that's true because hey you have a physical stick then you know the primary problem you run into is that they don't work the way that real sticks do, so that the trim still feels fiddly. So that's just flight sim. This is... this is fabulous. I'm just amazed. I, I don't... again, I don't know how good it's looking on stream right now, but... normally, if it's not working right, I see a choppy mess, too. And I'm seeing a not choppy mess at the moment. So this is pretty great to me. I feel like we need to do a float plane. That's awesome. So they have improved the performance. I could I could do that turn a little more aggressively. All right, let's let's climb again. Bringing it back to about 120. pretty good get another thousand feet maybe two this is uncanny I really, this is making me happy right now. This is great. Hey, we don't need a landing light right now. We're not landing. There we go. Turn that off. Turn the cabin heat on now. Is that cabin heat? Wait a minute. Yeah, it's just cabin heat. That was carb heat. That would actually drop our RPMs a lot. Yeah, I know. I've noticed it is dramatically better lately. Alright, we're about where I want to be. Let's do a stall. I'm going to come about first, though. We're going to do clearing turns. We're going to do a 180 degree right turn. We're gonna do a 360 degree left hand turn. This is just checking for other planes. I know it's a simulator and we don't really care, but this is what we'd be doing. There's the glider club. Let's bring it back.
Yeah, I can do that too. Here. Sorry, I'm like reading the thing and pushing. Look at that. I was pushing the stick down. Ah, that's fun. Okay. So we're going to do, let's just start with a full power stall and see how that feels. Ooh, I'm getting some jerkiness. Something's jumping me around. Oh, snap. There we go. That, that felt pretty good. Nice. All right, so a climbing turn stall. As if we stalled on climb out. So just like a full power climbing turn stall, I think I could do that. It very quickly is going to become a spin, I think. That thing doesn't want to stall. <laughs> you got a, you got a, you got a weird robot, man. There we go. And try that one more time. So it's like, yeah, we're oh, look at us, we're just turning, turning. Nice smooth recovery. Yeah, no, and just just being able to you know reach out and grab them. Now I did find I have to use the triggers for now because again the grips weren't playing nice so for now it's trigger based which is kind of a bummer but i'll live with it i'd love to be able to do both but it's not letting me if we were in a real plane we'd be uh hitting that carb heat but we don't have that bring that back into the green arc Luckily, the, yeah, the, the index controller is comfy enough that it's, it's not too bad to grab it with just the front finger or two, you know? You know, this thing's technically capable. Let's do this. There we go. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Let's land this bad boy. I'm gonna try other planes out. I don't even, like I said, I don't even know which planes support it. I'm also not really where I should be as far as this is concerned, but let's bring it up to about here.
We're pretty much flying over the runway right now. I'm really way too close to, but that's, again, it's okay. It's not the worst thing. Terrible approach. I'm going to do an abbreviated approach, actually, since we're basically, like, hanging out here. Slip that bad boy. was pretty bouncy, but it could have been worse. So, um, ooh, that was fun. <laughs> 